what is up guys welcome down to the channel and first and foremost what is going on with the weather it is almost april and there is still snow on the ground it's not doing good for my golf however i was lucky enough to spend some of the last week over in florida now i was uh actually working over there for mizuno uh filming a few things for their sort of youtube and social media channels which i will let you know when they are out because they will be on their sort of YouTube channel, their social media channels. But I got to work with, obviously, the guys from Mizuno, which are always nice, and also Sir Nick Faldo as well. We did some filming with him, which was surreal. Um, pretty incredible. You know, six months ago, I was filming... Uh, things off my iPhone, not really knowing what I was doing, and through lots of youtube watching um i've sort of learned a few skills on how to do things and there i was on a plane on the way to uh florida to to go and film with a six-time major champion which was yeah incredible so i'm hugely grateful for that so that was one thing and pretty incredible obviously being over in florida the weather was quite nice as well but also I managed to get some of uh, content for myself while I was there as well. So Nick was at Bella Kalina for his major champions invitational event, which is basically a sort of an extension of his Faldo series. It's sort of a grand final kind of thing for uh, junior golf. He wants to make this uh, one of the biggest events in junior golf, which I think it has the possibility to be was a great event. It was a four person team, two girls, two boys from Made, who were representing major champions basically um, the major champion themselves got to pick the team whether they did that with a, uh, a series in their you know home country or they just picked some of their people players from their foundation depending on it was completely up to them so I know Henrik sort of had an event over in Sweden that he the winners got to come for it um, and Rory picked a few from his foundation and a few good players he knows but yeah there was some some big time major winners, Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy, Jordan Spieth, Henrik Stenson all had um, teams. Nick Faldo had a team, Jack Nicholas had a team, you know, um, there were some women team, Nancy Lopez, Annika Storingsam. There was people representing Sebriano Sebri, Sebri, <laughs> Ballesteros, Sevi, I can't even say his name, and Mike Weir, John Daly. There was tons and tons. There was 18, I think, in total um, major champions that each got to enter their team. There was a boys and a girls sort of individual event as well as the team individual uh, the team event as well. But there were some of the best junior golfers in the world. Um, three rounds of golf. Uh, the winner uh, from the boys, Tom from Rory McIlroy's team, uh, shot twelve under. I think um, the girls champion uh, Corey shot nine eight eight or nine under. And then the team event was something like 19 over under in total, who was Dustin Johnson's team. So some awesome golf played on an awesome golf course. It was held at Bella Kalina Golf Course, uh, which is a big sort of private estate course in, in Orlando, which is designed um, after like a Tuscan villa, which is... Um, things going off everywhere uh, which like I said Tuscan Villa which is pretty surreal actually it was it was an amazing place um, but very it stood out in the middle of Orlando let's say um, with everything being flat in Orlando um, lots of grey beige buildings this sort of mega Tuscan looking villa was stuck on a hill in the middle of Orlando so I was only over there for three days one and a half of those was filming for Mizuno with Nick Faldo so, like I said, I was just a, a privilege to work with those guys and to, to see Nick give some stories and play golf. We sort of played a few holes and it was in, an incredible experience to film that and be there quite surreal. Going through the footage now, it's almost like I wasn't there, but I was. So I've always got those as memories. So that was incredible. And then after that, the last day and a half, I got to spend at the event catching some footage for myself, taking some pictures and stuff like that. So that was incredible. So this is what this video is. Basically, is my last day and a half over in Orlando. I got to... Nick did a clinic for the juniors on the range, which I got some footage of. It was just nice to, to sort of hear him talk about his past 
major wins and how he practiced for them and the sort of things that were going through his mind at those times. And then the last day I spent out on the golf course watching the juniors play. So tomorrow you come onto the range and without realising you're aiming a little bit to the right and you hit your shot and you start, oh, it's a little bit to the right, but you don't change anything. Software is so clever that you come over the top and look at that, I'm hitting the ball straight again. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So every day you're now doing something different so you are compensating every day. So very simply, put a club down. Get your alignment. It's, remember, it's a railway track. Pointing in the right direction. So now, when I then guess what? I can put this club down today, aim in the right place, and I'm pretty sure I can do it tomorrow. Yeah? So I will then stand really similar. So if I am standing and hitting the ball way to the right, it's my golf swing, not my alignment. It's something else. So this is it's a real simple one, but every day I know I'm aiming in the right direction and I can then start to build my swing and start to understand what I'm trying to do, okay? That's a practice session, and then we have a good, fun, fun experiment. I, you know, I think sometimes hitting golf balls is get too repetitive. And I think this sort of wakes your body up and suddenly you think, wow, if I want a bit more speed, every, we all want speed, don't we? We all want a bit more speed. Here's the best example. Well, find out which part of your body produces a faster clubhead speed. You may even be fortunate enough to have some kind of device and you'll get a digital feedback. Yeah, like I know from me, from experimenting, like if I really want to go flat out of it, as I said, I can't go anything here or here because this goes so fast and I leave the club behind. So I know because I'm tall that it's somewhere either lats or shoulders for me. I'm up, real upper body. That's how I won my tournaments as well. So I've kind of, that was so key for me in winning my majors. Is I put my thoughts in my left shoulder, that went under my chin, that went away from my chin. That's how I kept my swing, yeah? On my own, with my two imaginary friends, right? So I've been playing some days, Jack and Arnold versus me. Because Jack was faded, as I described, so I know, and I would stand, and of course, if Jack Nicholas has got to hit a six iron to this thing, hey, this is Jack Nicholas, he's going to hit a really good shot, isn't he? So I'd, go, I'd be going into the shot with the, all the right intentions, like, I am Jack Nicholas, I'm going to hit the greatest six iron in the world, yeah? Here's my six iron. And Arnold would come along, and I just can say, all right, Jack, I can do better than that. I'd draw the ball, and then I'd, and I'd be going like this, so I can pretend the line. Yeah? So, what I'm doing is mimicking my heroes and copying their things. Jack faded it, Arnold drew it. Trevino faded it, Gary drew it. Miller faded it, Weisskopf drew it. You see? So I'm shaping the ball. All this is happening by accident, by fun. Having fun. But what it was doing, I was learning to visualize and sense I'm somebody else, which is really, people think, you know why? But, I'm pretending I'm somebody else and they're always going to be better than me because they're the same people.
16 to 21. He said, I've got this really good kid who's 15 years old. So I said, well, guess what? <laughs> the age group is now 15 to 21. I'm the boss, I make the rules. Yeah. How about that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. What is it like to win the first inaugural Nick Faldo champion? Sure, I'm glad you played great. Is there a turning point in your round? It's quick, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to the players that sponsored the event and for the salvage? Yeah, I'd just like to thank everyone. So an incredible, incredible few days over in Florida. Now, the camera crew that was there, CBS, are doing a hour-long feature on it, um, which will show before the players over in America. Now, whether we'll be able to watch it anywhere, I'm not 100% sure. I'm sure we will be able to see it somehow, whether that be on the sort of um, the CBS website or if they put it on YouTube or something like that. I'm sure we can get hold of it. If it, when it comes about, I will see if I can link it somewhere. But other than that, I'm sort of really looking forward to this year. Like I said, got lots of products coming up. One that uh, is gonna be dropping soon, which I'm excited about. I will be playing a lot of golf which I need to do, um, sort of being out in Florida and seeing those guys play in the warm weather on an amazing golf course made me want to play so much. I didn't have my golf clubs or have any chance to play the course, sadly. Did hit a few balls on the range, um, actually next to Nick, which was, again, one of the most surrealist experiences in my life, but pretty awesome. So until next time, guys. Peace. All of us made away. I am not famous. They will I'm tripping. I guess that I'm probably peeking. Ox in the back and he's sleeping neck on the counter. That shit got me leaning like whoa, whoa, whoa. Leaning like whoa. Cops at the door better clean up your nose. Cause I don't want time on this hill. I'm ready for